Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. During the 20th century, pilots could not eject from a fixed-wing aircraft. Back then, pilots relied on other means of escape in emergency situations. They resorted to jumping from the aircraft and deploying the parachute themselves. This method was highly dangerous and often resulted in casualties. As the aircraft developed further, the streamlined design restricted the cockpit size. It was nearly impossible for the pilots to jump out of an aircraft capable of flying up to 500 miles per hour. However, scientists, engineers, and researchers accepted this challenge and started working on seat ejection technology. Martin Baker, a British aerospace company, specializes in designing and manufacturing ejection seats. They recognize the need for reliable means of escape for pilots in case of emergencies. This led to the development of the first Martin Baker seat ejection. Since then, the company has been a leading provider of ejection seats globally, having saved the lives of thousands of pilots. The ejection seats include a system of harnesses, shoulder straps, and leg restraints to secure the occupant during ejection and descent. The ejection sequence is typically initiated by the pilot pulling the ejection handle. This triggers a series of actions to initiate ejection. Rocket motors located beneath the seats are ignited. The powerful thrust generated by the rockets propels the seat and occupant out of the aircraft. Once clear of the aircraft, the parachute system is deployed automatically or manually by the occupant. The parachute slows down the descent and provides a controlled landing. Drop tests are conducted on ejection seats before deploying them in an aircraft. These tests are conducted in specialized test facilities. The ejection seat is attached to the drop tower, which is supported by a sturdy structure. The ejection seat is released from the top of the drop tower, simulating the ejection event. The release can be triggered either manually or by an automated system. Safety checks are conducted to ensure that all connections are properly secure. As the ejection seat descends, its trajectory and behavior are closely monitored. Various sensors and instruments are pre-installed on the ejection seat to record relevant data. 
This data is later analyzed to evaluate the performance of the ejection seat and ensure that it fulfills the required safety standards. Protective equipment like seat belts and harnesses are essential parts of an ejection seat. The engineers assess the performance of the protective equipment by using rocket propelled sleds. Initially, the sled is rapidly propelled along the track by rockets or other propulsion systems. The sled's propulsion system is turned off after reaching the desired acceleration and the deceleration phase begins. This acceleration phase simulates the G-forces encountered during takeoffs, high-speed turns, or evasive maneuvers. This phase replicates the scenarios when a pilot is subjected to deceleration forces mid-air, during landing, or takeoff. The pilot is equipped with sensors to measure the physiological responses of the human body during the test. This can include sensors for monitoring blood pressure, heart rate, and respiration rate. The data recorded by these sensors is crucial for evaluating the effectiveness of restraint systems and improving the ejection seat design accordingly. Ejection seats require regular maintenance to facilitate safe egress or escape of air crew members in crucial situations. During air crew egress system maintenance, trained personnel inspect the ejection seats to identify any visible signs of damage, wear, or corrosion. This also includes visual checks of the seat structure, harnesses, and restraints. Certain components of the ejection seat have specified service lives. Um, safety ties on right hand, uh, drogue riser leg. They must be replaced regularly as part of scheduled maintenance like explosive cartridges, gas generators, pyrotechnic devices, and rocket motors. Moreover, the maintenance personnel removes any dirt or debris from the ejection seats that may affect their operation. They also lubricate the moving parts to ensure smooth and reliable functioning. At the egress shop, we pull the seats out, take the seats apart, and make any repairs that are needed. So when it comes down to it, the pilots can eject safely. The United States Air Force conducts emergency egress training for pilots to enhance their ability to escape an aircraft. They are taught about other ways to escape an aircraft in case the ejection seat malfunctions. The pilots also partake in parachute descent training. Additionally, the pilots are tested on parachute malfunctions and steering. Any pilot unable to clear these tests may temporarily be grounded from flight duties.
All pilots in the USAF are required to go through survival, evasion, resistance, and escape training. This training simulates what they might experience if they ever find themselves behind enemy lines after ejecting from an aircraft. They receive training on wilderness survival skills like constructing shelters, procuring food and water, navigation, basic medical care, and signaling for rescue. The pilots also receive training on surviving if they land over the water after ejection. The pilots also learn how to deploy and board life rafts, how to stay afloat, and how to attract attention for rescue. The United States Air Force pilots should have the necessary equipment to tackle any situation mid-air. Aircrew flight equipment specialists make sure that every pilot's equipment is up to date. They pay attention to the fine details while inspecting or maintaining equipment. A pilot's safety is their number one priority, so they make sure nothing is overlooked. They regularly maintain equipment like flight helmets, oxygen masks, G-suits, and crash kits. Equipment specialists follow a specific procedure for packing crash kits. They house the crash kits in a durable bag with several compartments to organize or store different items. A comprehensive inventory checklist specifies the required items for the crash kits. Ejection seats are vital safety devices that offer pilots a means of rapid escape from a disabled aircraft, thereby increasing their chances of survival. In military aviation, every pilot has to go through before, during, and after ejection procedures in order to be prepared for any situation they might find themselves in. Pre-ejection training helps the pilots to develop a heightened sense of situational awareness, allowing them to take appropriate actions promptly. Training ensures the pilots are familiar with the specific steps involved in activating and operating the egress system. Moreover, post-ejection training helps a pilot carry out procedures like securing a parachute, finding a shelter, and signaling for rescue. These training procedures increase a pilot's chances of survival. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.